welcome back to my channel and welcome to another three minute book review. Today I am reviewing something a little bit different. This is Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. So it's basically, as it says at the bottom, a memoir by the creator of Nike. Nike? Nike? Don't know. I had never heard of Phil Knight before reading this book um, and I think that's probably quite telling of him as a person. Bearing in mind Nike is probably one of the biggest brands in the world, I am so surprised that the name Phil Knight isn't more well known. I warmed to him immediately. Um, he is very honest in this book about his weaknesses, his failings, how he didn't actually think he was a very good dad. He wasn't a great husband. Um, he lays it all out bare in this book and it's really refreshing. It's not a check me out, look at what I've done, how clever am I kind of book. Um, it's very honest, very real, very authentic um, and really really insightful. He doesn't fit that stereotype of an entrepreneur. Um, of a corporate businessman. I think his trade was as an accountant. He would call himself an introvert. These are just not things that you would associate with someone who had built up one of the biggest brands in the world, which I loved and was so interesting to read. Nike started out as an import company, importing trainers, running trainers from Japan um, and was originally called Blue Ribbon Sports. You actually don't get to the Nike birth part of the story, I would say until at least halfway through, maybe more. There were some really interesting little sort of stories in there. When they were choosing the name, they were they were considering a number of other names before they came up with Nike. Now, let me just tell you, I wrote them down while I was reading it. So the names they were choosing between were Dimension Six, Bengal, Falcon. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm wearing a pair of uh, Dimension Six. They, it, that just doesn't sound right, does it now? And actually it was right at the end that someone threw in the name Nike after they'd had a dream about it. And even then they weren't convinced. They were a bit like, okay, yeah, fine. Kind of sounds right. Also the swoosh was designed by a previously unknown graphic designer who was a student and they were paid $35 to design what is now probably one of the most iconic logos ever. Now, I do have to say that a lot of this book is about financing, um, as it would be, I guess. Um, that becomes quite a defining factor when you're uh, starting a business. That bit got a little bit boring for me, but it wasn't enough to put me off reading it. I would say if you like a business book, if you're a lover, of Nike. If you just want to be inspired, this is a great book to pick up. I am going to give this book 7 out of 10. Like I said, the only way that's, that score could have been improved if there was a little bit less on the finance side of things. And also, I would have quite liked, let me just see how far it gets, I would have quite liked if the story had been extended past 1980. I would like to have known more about kind of the time that I knew Nike, so I was born in the early 80s. It would have been nice to have a little bit more of the story, I'd be able to relate to a lot of that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it the thumbs up below. Honestly, it makes such a difference. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so in one of these corners below. There's a little red button. It's absolutely free. Um, I am trying to get to 475 subscribers. I mean, it sounds tiny, doesn't it? There are people out there with millions. Yeah, I'm trying to get to 475 subscribers by the end of May. Um, and I have lots more book content coming your way, as well as a lot of other content. So if that sounds good, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I hope to see you back here next week where I will have a new video for you. Take care. Bye.